Hey gang, it's Kara and Doby Joe who is chewing on a dog bone. Today, speaking of chewing on a dog bone, we are going to learn Doby Joe's song, Chewy Box. Okay, um, so this has a few tricky, I'm reading on the book right now, this song has a few tricky tablature moments, two notes that make up a pair of eighth notes don't always fall on the same string or fret. Oh, that's right. This is a really important lesson. Doby, you you wrote this one with uh, with learning some hard stuff in mind, didn't you? Um, now, if we take a look at this, uh, again, this is page 36, Chewy Box. If you look at the first full measure, let me talk about what we're, what we're seeing here in this tablature. So you've got a 2-0 that are combined uh, together. They're twinned off together as eighth notes. You're going to pick that two in a downward motion on your B string, and then the E string open is an upward motion. Okay, so you might want to isolate all these pot spots. You want another one? Are you going to leave me when you finish them? You might want to isolate all these. Let's let's go ahead and do that now, shall we? So on the the first full measure of line one. Uh, You've got that two zero, and I've given you arrows down and up. So practice that two zero over and over and over again, like that. Okay? I want you to practice that a lot. You can stop the video at this point in time and practice that until you're ready to move on. Okay? Now, the next thing we've got is in the very next measure, the last beat of that measure is a one. Two. Now we're not going from string to string, but we are going from note to note. So down on the one, up on the two. Okay? Down, up. The third measure of that first line, I didn't give you arrows on that one. They're both the twos right there. Down, up. Okay? Now we look at the second line down, and the third beat of that measure uh, is a one, two on the same string like that, okay? One, two, Doby Joe's showing me that she wants another bone will work for food. So the second line, first measure in that second line is a one, two, down, up, followed by the next measure, which is that same two, two. And I'm going over all of these little pairs of eighth notes because I want you to practice them, all right? If we go down to the third line, uh, second measure, we've got a two, three, okay? Again, all of these are on the same string, except that very first one that you're gonna play, right? Am I right? I'm looking at my music? Yeah, I'm right. I know what I'm talking about. So third line down, you've got the two, three combination, down, up, followed by the open string, down, up, okay? And that's it for our paired eighth notes. So like I said, practice those separately before you pl try to play the song with me. So you've got those good and warmed up. Um, the first one's going to be the hardest because you're picking down on your B string and then up on your E string. Let me do it again like that. Okay, so watch out for those moments. We'll go ahead and turn the metronome on again, but not as loud. I'm back on about 84. Now we do have a pickup note, so it's a pickup note, I don't remember if we've talked about these before, but a pickup note is a single note that starts the song off. It's not in its own four beat measure. It is going to come in on that fourth beat of that imaginary major measure, the three beats that aren't in front of it. So when I count us off, I'm going to go one, two, three, and we're going to come in on the four, like that. Okay. All right, let's give it a try. We're going to go nice and slow. One, two, three, four. Rest. Second line. Rest. One, two, three, four. Third line.
rest. Last line. Rest. Two, three, four. Okay. Turn that off. Give the dog another bone for writing such a great song for us. Um, let's go ahead and we'll play this a little bit faster. And I'll see if, see if I can sing the words that Dobie wrote at the same time. One, two, three. My chewy box was delivered by a driver that smelled like ham. Two, three, four. I wasn't able to open the door due to what I am. Two, three, four. Paws are cute and dig fine holes, but I'm saddened by my genome. When a guy that smells like cold cut meat knocks and no one's home. It's a, it's a pretty good song. All right, let's turn the metronome back on and we'll go over the chords. Now, have we worked on the down, down, up, down, down, up pattern much? We have. You know, let's give that a try. Um, each measure is going to get a down, down, up, down, down, up. And we're going to do that really slowly to begin with. One, two, three, four, one, two, and three, four, and 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 second line, one, two, Right, Chewy Box by Dobie Joe Barnard. Let's um, see if we can speed this up a little bit and uh, play it at the tempo that it probably should be played at. My Chewy Box was delivered by a head oh huh. Okay, I think I got it. My Chewy Box was delivered by a driver that smelled like him. Let me try that again because I didn't make the change. My chewy box was delivered by a driver that smelled like ham. I wasn't able to open the door due to what I am. Paws are cute and dig fine holes, but I'm saddened by my genome. When a guy that smells like cold cut meat knocks and no. So ideally, we played a little bit faster like that. I think that's what you intended, right? Okay, very good. That was page 36, Chewy Box by Dobie Joe Barnard. Next time we get together, we are going to be looking at page 37, and I'm going to throw a brand new idea at you in terms of 
how we're going to shift from playing one, two, three, four with our one, two, three, four finger to playing two, three, four, five with our one, two, three, four finger. What? It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy, I tell you. All right. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. Work really hard on this lesson, and I'll see you next time when we hit page 37. Thanks.